big box. It's a big, big box. And that's because it contains a model of a very big machine, which is a Caterpillar 794 AC mining truck. Firstly, we need to end tip the big outer shipping carton. And then we can see there are some expanded polystyrene trays which protect the tin. We cut the tape on those and then we can separate the two halves. And they are a tight fit. But one thing they do do is protect that big metal tin. So here we get our first good look at the tin. And there's a picture on the front and a very nice photo on the lid. One thing that's always good to see is some information about the real machine. And here we can see the detail of how big it really is. One of the keynote statistics is that it can carry a load of nearly 300 metric tons. It is off with the large metal tin lid, and there's plenty of internal packaging too. As usual for a Diecast Masters model, there's a mini brochure included. And this one is the 2020 version. And if you've got every model in the brochure, please put your hand up now so we can all see who you are. There's a small sheet detailing how to fit the operator. And for shipping, he's strapped into a plastic former. After that, the giant hand cranes can get the model out. For the assembly, there's a couple of small things we can do, and the first is to fit the operator. And although the instruction sheet tells you to use some mini plastic tweezers, they're not included. And actually, this is one of those times when you probably need them. And that's because getting him comfortably seated is a little bit tricky. Anyway, he's in, we'll slam the door and lock him in. And the other assembly to do is to fit a pair of wheel chocks at the front. We begin as usual by taking a look underneath, and the first impression is of busy high detail. Much of it is in plastic, but the colour match with metal parts is excellent. And something that really adds to the detailed look is the many flexible hoses. Moving towards the back, there's the heavy axle, and the very large tyres have a decent tread pattern. Another highlight of the model is the very soft, flexible mud flaps. Let's move to the front of the 794. And again, there are some nice small details. The front grille looks very good and it's got lights inset. And one of the advantages of using plastic is that some of the tiny details can be replicated. And you can see that in this molding. The big tires are mounted on big wheels and they have some very nice detailing. And that looks like it includes many wheel nuts. Here you can see this tank between the wheels is also finely detailed. Moving to the back, there's a safety cable included with painted ends. And the small details contrast with the heavy construction. And if you look closely, there are tiny graphics on the big dampers. Up on the cab deck, there's a big cabinet. And effective use is made of paint highlighting for the grills and handles. Looking inside the cab, there are twin seats and there is the Caterpillar logo on the seat back. This big mesh grille on the side is very nicely formed. And there are load indicators on both sides of the model. The cat graphics are very sharp and all of the handrails are made of metal and they look quite thin. The mirrors are plastic. The lift rams are two stage with the middle section being a light plastic. And it is a pity that it doesn't have a silvered finish. The big dump body has got a textured rear edge. And side on there's some good detailing including lifting eye positions, although they're not fully formed holes. Before we go any further, let's prove this is a model for the big leagues and put it on the cranes etc waybridge. You need some heavy lift hand cranes for the job. And when it's on the way bridge, we see it's over three kilograms or nearly seven pounds. Going back underneath the 794 and the front wheels spin freely. And the steering mechanism works smoothly enough, although perhaps we'd like a little bit more movement. Going to the rear axle and the wheel pairs spin separately. 
and the whole rear axle is a floating assembly with a good range of movement. Out onto the cranes etc, mining haul road, and the model's heavy weight helps it to roll very nicely. Let's turn those big wheels, and when we do we get a fairly shallow angle of cornering. It's easier to see if we see that front on, and just a bit more steering angle would have been nicer. As we saw there's a heavy duty suspension on the rear axle, and it's nice and stiff and not too springy. And it's interesting to see the big dampers working at the back. Next we're into some of the smaller features and there's a fold down ladder on one side. And if we go to the opposite side there's a fold down staircase which doesn't have a big gap to the first stair. Next we'll tip that big dump body. And the rams are nicely stiff so they will hold any angle that you set. And the overall tipping angle looks pretty good too. Up on the cab deck there's an opening engine cover. And you need the supplied plastic pointer to help you get it open. Once it's up you can look down into the engine area. And of course all of the components are suitably massive. We saw before the cab door opens for the driver. But the door also opens for the trainer seat. And looking at it in close up it's too comfortable for the kind of people cranes etc wants to employ. Going to the top of our stairs and there's an opening gate. And there's another one at the top of the ladder. So there are plenty of working parts but it's nice to show a big machine like this being loaded. So here we've brought in an excavator from the Cranes Etc fleet. Our engineers have used all of their innovation skills to mount an excavator on a scissor lift. And that means we can use a small and economic loader with our big dump truck. With the only potential downside being it might take a little bit of time to fully load the truck. Yes, only on Cranes Etc can you see innovations like this. This is another very well presented model by Diecast Masters. Its size makes it very impressive, but the attention to detail makes it good to look at close up. There are plenty of working features, and it looks great paired up with a suitable loading machine. It's a bit pricey, but overall good enough to be considered excellent.